<laughs> okay, so welcome to the introduction to statistics for social work. For this lecture, I want you to have an introduction to some terminologies and concepts in statistics. So now, we first define what we call a data. So, a data is just consists of information coming from observations, counts, measurements, or responses. So, data is synonymous to uh, information. Or it could be a response. Now, let us define what is statistics. So, statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to make decisions. So, it consists of collecting, so the science, of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting interpreting data so these data can be a numerical or it could be a categorical so categorical is synonymous to uh, qualitative data and numerical we have a quantitative data so in statistics we have a so-called population and a sample So let us define these two terms. So when we say population in statistics, it is the collection of all outcomes, responses, measurements, or counts that are of interest. So it is the set of all outcomes Uh, that is being considered in a given study. So, first of all, you have to first think uh, what would be your study. And if you're going to take all of the outcomes of your given study, that outcome or set of all outcomes is what we call a population. Now, um, a sample, we define a sample as a subset of a population. So, for example, we have a population. So, within the population, we take a what we call subs, uh, subset or a sample. So, this is what we call the sample. Okay, so we also have parameter and statistics. 
or statistic statistic so let us define uh, these two terms so when we say parameter a parameter is in a numerical description of a population characteristic so for example we have here a population so for us to uh, to have a numerical characteristic of the population so uh, we use some computations and for that for that numerical characteristic we call it a parameter so take note a parameter is a numerical so let us write it here a numerical characteristic of a population now let's have statistic so let's say in the population so this is our sample and with this sample we compute a numerical value that describes the sample so that value is what we call a statistic so let us write it here so a statistic is a numerical characteristic of a sample so in statistics we also have branches So we have the so-called descriptive statistics and we have the inferential statistics. So let us uh, define these two branches. So in descriptive statistics, Basically, uh, we focus on the collection, organization, presentation, and um, analysis. Analysis of data. In inferential statistics, so in inferential statistics, it is a branch of statistics that involves using a sample data to draw conclusion about a population. So it involves a sample oh, involves using a sample to draw conclusion about a population. So we have also types of data so I already uh, introduced the types of data while I'm giving you the definition of statistics so we have two types of data we have a qualitative data 
and a quantitative data. So we all know that uh, the difference between a qualitative and a quantitative, a qualitative data this uh, only um, focus on the quality while the quantitative data so focuses on the quantity. So we, uh, for qualitative data, we know that this is a categorical data while quantitative data, uh, these are numerical data. Let's have levels of measurement. So this is the topic that uh, you need to uh, you need to understand further because some um, practitioners of statistics doesn't know uh, these levels of measurement. That's why they, if they are using some statistical methods, they would have a mislead. Uh, interpretations on their data so uh, you have to further understand this uh, topic so for levels of measurement we have uh, an acronym so do not forget this acronym so we have the NOA or Neuer N stands for nominal, O for ordinal, I for interval, and R for ratio. Now, let us discuss each of these levels of measurement. So, nominal data, these are data that can be categorized. So, can be categorized. Like gender, civil status, mm, Facebook status, let's say. Now, for ordinal data, uh, it has also a property of a nominal data, so you can categorize it, but in ordinal, there is a rank or order in the categories. So, for example, we have first, second, third. Um, military rank. We also have a social, socio-economic status. Economic status. Okay, so let's have interval data so interval data so the key point in interval data is that uh, that it has so it has no true zero point so what do we mean by no true zero point for example we have uh, a response of a let's have a test score on an exam of four students uh, where we have five items so this student got the highest score 
while zero being the lowest. For this data, if we treat this value be having a true zero point, so meaning if we interpret uh, this response, uh, we can say that the student did not know the lesson. Maybe uh, there's something wrong happened. That's why uh, he or she got uh, a score of zero. But you cannot say that this zero uh, means nothing at all. So an example, we have test score. Uh, another example, so we have temperature. Can we say uh, for this value zero degrees Celsius that we do not have temperature at all? So clearly, we cannot say that if we have a zero degree Celsius, we do not have temperature at all. So zero degrees can be converted into Fahrenheit, which has a temperature. So temperature is also an example of an interval data. For the last example, we have the military time. If we got a time, so zero, 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 uh, do we mean that we do not have time at all? Clearly, uh, we cannot say that uh, for this response, we do not have or time doesn't exist. So, it is convert that this time can be converted into um, 12 a.m. For the last level of measurement, we have the ratio level or the ratio data. So, the ratio data, uh, the key here, so it has a true zero point meaning if you have a value of zero it means nothing nothing at all or uh, we have an absolute zero so uh, we call it in Tagalog Kapag wala na, pag zero, wala na talagang, wala na talaga. So, example of ratio data. So, we have height, weight, uh, volume. So, basically, these are the terms and concepts that you need to know in studying uh, statistics so for the next lecture I will discuss uh, descriptive statistics and uh, that's all for now